Hello, welcome back to Marta from Sparta. In today's video, I will show you how to make this trendy and fun bow sweatshirt. If you are up to date with the fashion trends, you probably know that one of the biggest trends for this season are sweatsuits. Another one, bows. So today we will combine both of those trends together because sweatsuits can be a super fun and stylish as well, right? Let's take a quick look at inspiration images. I saw that bows could be made from totally different fabric than our sweatshirt is. They could be from satin or velvet and they do not have to be in matching color. They could be completely different color than our sweatshirt is or they could be made from exactly same fabric as our sweatshirt is. And high is the limit. You do what suits your style and your wardrobe needs. Hey, but before we're gonna go shopping, don't forget to like and subscribe. Every week I will share with you fun and creative ideas on a budget. So hit this button now so you won't miss my next video. So I decided to make a sweatshirt with a bow which is made exactly from the same fabric what my sweatshirt is. Uh, the reason for it is this represents my style the best and it matches my and complements my existing wardrobe. Materials we need for this project. Two sweatshirts, same color if you're planning to do same look as I did. Fabric for bow if you're planning to do bow in different color than your sweatshirt is. Scissors, thread, needle, fabric glue if you choose not to do sewing that's also the option you do not have to do sewing if you do not know how to you can use the fabric glue and you're gonna be perfectly fine and set of sew on snaps to attach the bow to our sweatshirt so the first step would be obviously cutting the sleeves from the sweatshirt which you're not going to be wearing uh, regardless what's your future plan for the sweatshirt is, I recommend staying uh, right on the seam and cut it really neatly. Uh, in my case, I'm planning to use the second sweatshirt as I cover up for the gym or possibly I have idea for another project. So I just want to be really neat and cut beautifully and neatly along the seam. Same idea would be with cutting cups off. Um, as I previously mentioned, I'm planning to use cups also as a part of this and future project. So I'm cutting really neatly along the seam because I will use the part of the cups as a part of the bow and also leftover cuff I will use in the future project. So I'm trying to be as neat as possible with the straight lines along the seam. Once we have a cuffs uh, cut off and both sleeves are ready to go, it's time to decide how big you would like to go with your bow, how oversized you want your bow to be. And I do not have any measurements. My sweatshirt is size medium and I kind of like eyeball it. Like you see on the video, I played with it and I could basically guess how bow, how big the bow will be. So I would say if you're not sure, just pin it, try it on on your shoulder first. Once I was sure how big I want my bow to be, I neatly cut off the edges. I trimmed uneven edges of the fabric on the both sides. Even though it's gonna be inside and I'm not gonna see it, but this is me. I wanted everything to look nice and neat. 
once we have both sleeves which are sides of our which are shoulder sides of our bow ready and prepared it's time to flip the sleeve inside out and begin sewing and if you do not know how to sew you can use a fabric glue the only down of this is that once you're gonna glue it you have to leave it overnight and wait until the glue will bond and dry before you're gonna go to the next step of this project sewing is really not difficult in this case it's very simple stitching and remember we're doing this inside out so even though it's not perfect nobody will be able to tell and this is like instant gratification because right after you stitch um, uh, outer corners of the bow we can start uh, putting the bow together and again if you're using the glue you have to consider that this will gonna be multi-day project because you have to between every step you have to wait for the glue to dry and bond. Once we done with sewing outer layers of the bow, let's flip the fabric um, back on. I took a scissors and I pushed the corners out to make sure that I have like a really sharp pointy edges uh, uh, for the bow. And if you also wish, you can iron it before we're gonna go to the next step. And the next step would be sewing these pieces together in the middle. And again, if you choose to, you can glue it, but then again, you will have to wait another day uh, to go to the next step. It's really not difficult sewing, and this part also will be covered by the middle part of the bow so if you are not good at sewing this will be covered and nobody will able to tell that the stitching is not perfect not even so don't worry about it but again i think by using um stitching um you can just make the sweatshirt in a matter of two hours but when you decide to go with a gluing it will take a couple of days since the glue has to dry in between the steps so once i sew back both both uh, bow shoulders together i kind of like wrinkled it a little bit and crunched it and i went few times back and forth to keep the bow in the shape I needed to be. Um, I think that's gonna help in the future for the bow to stay, to stay folded the way I want it. Uh, even with the middle piece, I think the middle piece wouldn't hold it um, well enough. So I decided to just like give it extra support by just going back and forth through the bow. So the folds will stay exactly same way always okay since our bow is secured and our folds are secured it's time to decide what would you like to use as a middle piece i uh, made two sweatshirts one i did as a test before i recorded um, a video to make sure that everything will go the way i want it to be and this sweatshirt it's my second one so you choose if you want to use a cuff of a middle piece of your bow if you do there is no sewing involved at all and that's i think it's kind of cool look with um the cuff being the middle of the bow uh, you just have to open the cuff kind of flatting this flatting the, the cuff down and then just slide through the bow and attach with two stitches in the back so this will be not moving piece on your sweatshirt if you decide to use leftover piece uh, of your sleeve uh, you will require a little bit sewing or gluing if you choose to glue it because you can also use the sewing glue but again you have to wait in between the steps so if you decided to use leftover uh, a sleeve piece like I did uh, you might need to measure how long you need it first 
then you need to sew it together or gluing together having that piece inside out so we're not gonna see stitches or gluing at all once this is done and once you're sewing or gluing is done you will attach this piece um to your bow and it's gonna be same kind of uh, idea as with the calf sleeve um, you need to secure this piece in the back of the bow which are two stitches on the side otherwise i uh, feel like this piece is gonna keep rotating and the part which you sew the piece together will be keep coming to the front of your bow so to avoid that issue i stitched as you see on the video two stitches on the side to secure it in the place i want it to be so it's my bow not gonna slide in or not my bow not gonna slide out or this piece not gonna rotate around my bow and you know i'm just gonna keep having issues with that and keep fixing it constantly and this is really few second step which can save a lot of correction later on when you wear the sweatshirt and as you see on the video i stitched the middle piece in the back of the bow and i will secure it on the sides as i mentioned before just to prevent from this middle piece rotating around the bow and the stitch part ending up being in front. I just don't like to fix my wardrobe and what about my wardrobe when I'm wearing it. So this is few seconds uh, work which can prevent a lot of correction later on when you're wearing the sweatshirt. Last step, which I think is the very fun step, you have to decide where would you like to place the bow. As you saw on the inspiration images, you can place it right in front, uh, right on your chest. It could be crooked on your shoulder. It could be right in the middle. It could be on the side. It's, you choose whatever is your style and you choose what will, how it will complement your wardrobe, how you want to wear it. It's entirely up to you. There is no right or wrong in my opinion. It's super fun uh, sweatshirt. I would recommend that's what I did because I chose to do very uh, big oversized bow. Put your sweatshirt on and ask your partner or mom or husband uh, to help you pin the bow. I chose my bow to be on the shoulder. So I place it the way I want it to sit and then I pinned it so it's not gonna move when I'm gonna be attaching this bow to my sweatshirt. Once you pin your bow and you decided on its location, it's time to attach the bow to the sweatshirt. And, um, so we, and the snaps are optional. Uh, the reason why I decided to use the snaps, uh, I'm trying to think ahead over here. I have a lot of wardrobe pieces which have like attachments like this and after washing them it's a huge pain to actually iron it and um so i was thinking ahead and i'm planning to unsnap the bow before washing uh, because i think it's gonna be easier with ironing later if i need to and overall it's gonna save me a lot of maintenance pain in the future you don't have to use the snaps uh, you can permanently attach the bow by sewing or gluing the bow on the sweatshirt and again if you will glue the bow on the sweatshirt the thing is that it's permanent you cannot remove it it's just there if you will sew on the bow on the sweatshirt you can always remove the stitches remove the bow and change the location of the bow if you wish to same thing with a snaps if at some point i decide in a year or two that i don't want to have a bow on the sweatshirt i can just rip the uh, snaps and i can have just a plain gray or whichever color you choose sweatshirt uh, so that gives me some freedom in the future but you do not have to you can permanently glue it on you can sew it on you can do whatever you want 
and again i'm just giving you options and i'm sharing my tips and what what was my thinking process when i was making it and what works for me and for my lifestyle see you in the next video get up get dressed and let's make art <laughs>